Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanAdder.com and today we are having Infinix Hot Note and Infinix Zero smartphone with us. Uh, both of these devices are from the same brand, that's Infinix Mobility and today we are going to compare these devices by performing some benchmarking tests and compare the results of these tests for both of these devices. So first of all, let me tell you about these devices first. Infinix Hot Note uh, is having 1.4 GHz octa-core processor and 1 GB of RAM plus it comes with Mali 450 GPU. Infinix Zero comes with the same 1.4 GHz octa-core processor and Mali 450 GPU but the amount of RAM in Infinix Zero is 2 GB. So uh, let's perform some benchmarking tests and let's have a look uh, on the scores they are going to get and let's compare the scores. So today we are having four benchmarking apps as you can see here. That's Entry Benchmarking, Benchmark OS 2, uh, Quadrant Standard and Geekbench 3. So first of all, let's start with Entry Benchmarking. Uh, just to save your time, we have already performed the Entry Benchmarking and Benchmark OS 2 test already because these two tests takes lots of time. So just to save your time uh, in watching this video, we have already performed the test. So let's have a look on the scores right now. So here we go with the Entry Benchmarking. So as you can see for the Infinix Zero, the score is 28,140 while on our Infinix Hot Note, the score is 28,746. Uh, both of these devices are having same type of processor, same amount of processor, but still uh, the Infinix Hot Note is scored a bit slightly uh, more than Infinix Zero. So, you can expect that both of these devices will perform equally because uh, the difference in the score is very slight, very minor. Let's go to Basemark OS and let's have a look on the scores here. Let's go to results. Okay, once again, the score is pretty much similar. As you can see here, overall for Infinix Hot Note, it's 506 and for Infinix Zero, 514 here. Infinix Zero is scoring above uh, the Infinix Hot Note. For the system test, the score in Infinix Hot Note is still slightly less than Infinix Zero. Infinix Hot Note scored 1094 and Infinix Zero scored 1107. As you can see here, uh, for memory test, the score was 334 Infinix Hot Note and for Infinix Zero, it is 367. And when it comes to graphics test, uh, here the score is better in Infinix Hot Note, that's 324, and for Infinix Zero, it's 306. And when it comes to web browsing, both of these devices scored totally uh, equal scores. So as you can see, uh, for Infinix Hot Note, it's 562, and for Infinix Zero, it's 561. So overall, the difference in the score is very slight. Um, Infinix Zero is scoring above the Infinix Hot Note as you can see. But once again, the difference is very slight. So both of these devices are going to perform nearly similar when it comes to real life performance. Let's go back and let's sorry, do the test. So let's do quadrant standard right here. So let's start the test now, run full benchmark. So as you can see, uh, Quadrant Standard considers the CPU speed, the memory input output, 2D graphics, 3D graphics rendering and all. So uh, let's wait and watch and let's see which device is going to score how much score. Here we can see the Infinix Zero is a bit faster than Infinix Hot Note, it's performing better, more smoothly. The FPS we are getting on Infinix Zero is around 55 and on Infinix Hot Note it's around 45. So let's see what is going to be the final score for both of these devices. Uh, that will give us the better idea. 
So the test is over for Infinix Zero. And the score is 2216. Let's have a look on Infinix Hot Note. And for Infinix Hot Note, it's much better. That's 2894. So the difference is huge this time between Infinix Hot Note and Infinix Zero. Infinix Hot Note scored uh, nearly 25% more than the Infinix uh, Zero in this test. So let's go back and let's do our last test for today. That's Geekbench 3. So nearly 70% of the test is finished for both of these devices. So the test is over for Infinix Hot Note and it's about to be finished for Infinix Zero. So the test is over and here we can see the result for both of these devices. For single core performance, Infinix Hot Note scored 365 while Infinix Zero scored 354. And for multi core performance, for Infinix Hot Note it's 2073 uh, and for Infinix Zero it's 1750. So in this test, once again, Infinix Hot Note scored slightly better than Infinix Zero. So uh, both of these devices are using the same processor, um, though Infinix Zero is having 2 GB of RAM. We are seeing in most of the cases, Infinix Hot Note is scoring above the Infinix Zero. So one of the reasons you can say behind this is that um, uh, Infinix Hot Note is a new product and it is having a more optimized uh, version of uh, Android and more optimized uh, launcher or whatever uh, on the OS side because the hardware is same for both of these devices and Infinix mobile steam is uh, work better on this Infinix hot note to make to make it slightly better than Infinix Zero. so both of these devices are going to be nearly same when it comes to real performance, you can select any of these devices depending on the looks and your requirement, what you want from these devices. So, thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos, hands-on reviews and tips and tricks like this. Have a nice day.